because my awesome thing of the week is I had a bad I had a bad day yesterday. I had a drive that decided, ha, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work. Got a weird error, and uh, first aid wouldn't work on the Mac, uh, and uh, and my and it was one of my uh, uh, latest primary almost full four terabyte uh, uh, passport drives. So uh, and uh, some files I needed were on there. And uh, and uh, to do to do a podcast, I was gonna I was supposed to work on yesterday, and I did, and, and things worked out. And I'll tell you why they worked out. First of all, I, I I you know since moving to a desktop computer, my Backblaze is completely up to date, no problem there. I'm not trying to like plug in my laptop for days at a time and make the battery swell again, like because as I did it like two times now with laptops. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get a Mac Mini a couple weeks a couple months ago, and got the nice M1. Um, but uh, the nice thing is, like, okay, the drive failed, and I had options. And it was the first time I felt like I wasn't completely, other than the annoyance of having to deal with the options, I didn't feel like I lost anything, which is great. And there's two two reasons. First, Backblaze, I was ready, absolutely ready to drop the money on it and drop, like, it was like $208, and they'll send you an 8-terabyte eight, eight drive which would have your four terabytes of info that I needed, basically. And they have smaller, ver- you know, if you only need, like, like I think half a terabyte, there's a USB, um, uh, like a smaller USB drive uh, a version that's going to be, like, maybe $90 or something like that. And the nice thing is with the drive, like, you, they send it to you, and if you send it back, they will actually refund your money. So you can go get your info, your, your drive back, copy it to a new drive, send that drive back, and uh, and 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 you know you're good to go. Although it's an eight terabyte hard drive, why not keep it, right? It's about how much it was because we ended up just grabbing another one at Staples because I needed some stuff more immediately, and uh, and we could swing it. So we did. And we're like, okay, I got a hard drive. That's fine. Not, not like I'm not going to use it. Um, but the thing that that ended up saving the day in a much quicker way, other than having to go uh, having a Staples on the corner. Um, I've been using this for a little bit. I don't think I've talked about it here on the show. And maybe you guys have heard about it because I've been wondering about like a uh, uh, drive software. Uh, and I bought this a while ago when I think I had one of those SSDs fail on me or accidentally deleted something that was important on there. And I need something to recover it. And I didn't have Disk Warrior, but that doesn't, that's not compatible with the new drives right now. So this is called Disk Drill is what I came across. Not only did this thing look through my files and from what I can tell, recovered everything on there because I have a feeling I just got a bad bit and it corrupted the uh, the file system kind of situation. So it cleanly, over about twelve or thirteen hours overnight, brought all that info look uh, uh, info over. Did a quick look through it. I wanted to go more in depth to be sure, but it recovered it. Guys, this is the other thing. Um, if you're familiar with Drobos. Uh, uh, Chilla, I know you are, but you know the the data robotics thing. It's the thing where you you, you get this box, you throw hard drives in it, and it'll 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 um, it's supposed to protect your info by um, spreading it across the drives, basically, kind of backup of itself in there. So if a drive fails, you pull the drive out, replace it, it'll replenish it, and everything's good. I have two of these four drive systems. I have a third one that I still run. It's a newer one. It's USB 3. But I, I have two older ones. They have FireWire on them. That's how old they are. That have been just sitting. And the software that I thought I needed to recover them was $600. And I was not willing to drop on just these. And it's just old projects, stuff I'd like to have back. And and this is the first time that I had something uh, a while ago. And I need to put in the time, unfortunately, to 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 deal with them. But this is the first time I've been able to look at these drives and see files. The file structure, unfortunately, is gone because it's it's a Drobo file structure, and I'm just going to get files without labels, which is going to be really fun. Uh, so, um, and and a hell of a project. But uh, plus duplicated because of what they do with their their compression and everything. But this is this worked out really well for me. It's it's uh, it's Mac, it's PC. I bought it once. I put it on everything. Uh, it, it's on Macs and PCs, multiple of them under my license. I don't know if it limits otherwise to that. Um, but uh, it, it's uh, uh, cleverfiles.com is where this is from. Um, it's updated for uh, your M1 Macs, uh, Mac OS, Monterey Ready, and all that kind of stuff. Um, it is It's pricey as far as... I, well, I would say it's pricey, but as far as disk um, recovery software goes, it's not that bad. I think I paid the uh, $89 for the 
for the uh, Pro, and I'm fairly certain I paid the extra $29 for the lifetime upgrades as well, because <laughs> you want that, because whenever there's a new damn file system that the, that that Mac OS puts out, you want to make sure that's covered. So, and again, that's for, you know, you and me, you know, not running a multi-person business, right? Uh, so, you know, you know that, that includes like one user up to three simultaneous activations. I mean, I'm not really more running more than um, three ongoing computers that have drives attached, right? So, um, but you can get the free if you're, and, and that's, that's one thing I like about some of the software. That it, it's one of those that lets you download a free version, so you can at least throw it at a drive that you like had fail on you and see will it even see these files before you drop money on it like you can see okay it sees there there's my stuff you know i know i'm not going to waste 90 dollars on this thing and not get my stuff back right i can at least see it and i'll maybe let you recover like 10 files or something like that um, so you can see that it works before you dive into it. So it's disk drill, cleverfiles.com. I've been using it here for a bit because I'm clumsy and things fail, especially if you have spinning hard drives. Hell, even SSDs sometimes go wonk wonky on you, right? Um, so that, that's my recommendation. It's been working out great. And it could have made a, a bad day yesterday even worse if I did not have software like this on hand. So, um, and also, you know, again, I, I had options, right? Other than I really need a good backup solution in studio um, to, to, to sec, you know, swap my files out. Um, and, it, you know, oh, man, this drive failed. Well, it's synced to this drive over here, pulled over the network, and let's continue working, right? Um, but still, like, like having a good, that good backup solution will save you time, will save you money later, will save you a lot of headaches, um, may save you a client in the long run too so all those kinds of things that's i mean it's just one of those things if you're doing anything that with files that are important it's it's worthwhile so and and that's not a bad price at all because i've i've paid to recover data even off of old compact flash cards and mm -hmm. random um sd cards and that's that's worth its price and uh, alone just based on the fact that you can get a lifetime license, it's not like and lifetime upgrades, and it's allowed on multiple machines, because most of those you get, it's like a one-time use code, and if you switch machines or you switch anything, it's toast. So that's that's I mean that's a great price, and I, and I think of like digital cameras where you accidentally hit the delete button and there's yep. no garbage yep. can, right? Yep. That's basically what I mean, happened with the SSDs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just like, oops, we formatted this. Uh-oh, throw it in the thing and recover it before we do anything else, right? Mm -hmm. So, because if you guys don't know, if you format something or throw something in the trash or, you know, or full, full delete it, like, those bits are still there. They, it just disappeared until they get written over by something else, right? So, you know, think of it that way. Um, and also on top of that, this uh, this does do, like, there's other tools with it that I haven't even div dived into a lot of this, actually. I didn't even know that some of these were features. It's saying all, ma all major devices supported, including iOS and Android recovery. So that, man, I, I'm thinking of a couple of things where my mom was like, I can't I get my pictures back? I'm like, nope. Um, but maybe we could have with something like this. Uh, and there's, uh, <laughs> it has things like, it'll do uh recover. Like if your drive is smart, uh, compatible, it'll, it'll give you updates on that. Um, for instance, I have this HP, um, all in one that I've been running my Twitch streams off of at home. And I just noticed, um, Hey, yeah. Um, this is, this drive's going to fail soon. <laughs> so I'm at least emotionally ready for it. I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, if it fails, I'm just going to swap the drive and reinstall the system and, you know, reinstall windows 10 and, you know, go from there, but uh, you know, but and nothing's vital on it. It's like just a few video games and OBS set up with Twitch and stuff. It's 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 fine. It's, either way, either way, I got a, I got I got a project in front of me if that thing fails. So, <laughs> um, but generally, you know, not a worry. And at least you know, you know, when you have an awareness, it's, it has. I think I have two smart drives connected to my uh, Mac Mini, including the drive in the Mac Mini. Um, and the other one's that life raft that we were talking about earlier. And it's, it's letting me, you know, I see the temperature and everything. It's letting me know everything's good. I'm sure I'll do a pop-up when it's not. And, uh, you know, anything you can do to kind of, you know, keep that stuff together. So, well.